Kevin, this one's for you. Congratulations, Tennessee, and also congratulations to Far and to Russell. I just want to say to everybody, this is Kevin Meyer's horse, and I spread his ashes on through the rock today, and I'm honored. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> well, you know We're what? all going to cry. Before, I just told a story about okay. Kevin, about the horse and Kevin, and it's Kevin's desire so that this horse someday would be Tim. Yes. And I talked about the fact that, unfortunately, Kevin is no longer with us. And you guys are carrying on the situation. Yep. Yeah, that's the that, part about the 30 years that we've had. Yeah, Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Rusty, it's always good talking to you. Thank you. It really is. <laughs> I'm just curious because normally we get, I'm talking to you and you're the guy riding this, not the guy dating the horse. No. But really, really spectacular. Tennessee did it a fantastic yeah. job. I couldn't do more. Yeah. Please. Actually, now that you've. As well as Ritter. Maybe Tennessee should keep riding, maybe she keep touring. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'll ride with her next time. Yeah, that's great. It's just <laughs> super to see you guys again. It's great to see the horse. And hopefully I'll see him tomorrow in the uh, Hagen Cup. Yeah, it's worse. It's a little bit high. Yeah. It's so beauty. Right, Tennessee.
we're looking at what will probably our, be our next uh, thousand mile buckle horse. Um, when he completes here, far will be eight for eight at this ride. I'm not sure if you heard Pete, our announcer here at the finish line, but Lindsay, Fisher, and Monk are now across the timed finish as well and should be here to the stadium shortly. He came in um, and he looked just amazing on his lap around the stadium, uh, recovered very quickly. Looks like he trotted sound. We're waiting for the final hug and handshake here. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, your official first place horse and rider. Far is eight for eight on his Tevis completions now. Um, this was Kevin Meyer's horse. So very special to see him out here and still doing so well. Of those eight completions, I believe six of them now have been in the top ten. Far is a past Hagen Cup winner as well. This horse deserves it. He's amazing. It's Tennessee Lane, and I don't have his registered name. Far is his name that he goes by. Uh, you can pull up the standings on the website. It'll have his official registered name. I'm going to stay live while we wait for Lindsay Fisher and Monk to make their way down. They have crossed the timed finish line at the Auburn Overlook and should be down here to the stadium very shortly. Hi. Anybody come in yet? Um, the first place horse is right there behind us. The Tennessee dark, Lane. The dark one? Yep. With socks? Yep. And it vetted out? Yes, he just completed. First? First place. How long ago? Um, she came in uh, about three, five minutes ago, somewhere around there. Oh dang, we listened to two more songs than we should have. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you heard her interview That's earlier, Tennessee but oh. Tennessee stopped and spread some of Kevin's ashes on Cougar Rock today. Um, we lost Kevin Myers, who had been the owner of this horse and had campaigned him very successfully last year. Um, it was the first Tevis when we didn't have Kevin around. So it's just extra amazing and impressive to see him not only finish so strong today, but finish first. Wow. Far is 17 years old now. 
and he's most likely got a thousand mile buckle in his future. He's now eight for eight here at Tevis. So there's two hour-long holds during the ride, but there's also a gate-and-go check about every 10 miles that the horses are evaluated by the veterinarians. They have to meet a pulse criteria at all of those checks. But riders are free to leave whenever they like at those at those checks. Most of our riders will certainly take time to uh, feed their horses, let them relax. <laughs> Lindsay Fisher's entered the stadium. Lindsay's riding Monk. Lindsay and Monk are our second place finishers. They have to vet out still, but he looked great. So hopefully that should not be a problem. First place for those just joining maybe are Tennessee Lane and Farr. It may seem exciting watching these first and second place riders come in, but I tell you what, if you're here local in the Auburn area, set your alarms and come down here to the fairgrounds around four in the morning and watch the last riders come in and finish within that last hour. Over half of our field right now of riders are riding within the last one hour of cutoff. So if you can, come on down. We'll be here. Come help cheer them in. We're at the fairgrounds in Auburn.
We're looking at Lindsay Fisher and Monk, who's our second place horse. Uh, they have not vetted out yet officially for completion, but they are second across the time finish, and he looked really good. <laughs> it's nice to have good enough reception that we can go live and stay live. It's been quite the challenge today. So thank you all for bearing with us. Yeah, from the timed finish, there's a couple reasons why we don't do the live feed from there. Number one, the reception isn't as good. We have to go back on a, a supplied mobile Wi-Fi here at the stadium. It's much more stable and reliable. The other thing is, is it's pretty dark out there still. And if you go look at some of our live feed video from the end of Forest Hill, it just gets to be pretty difficult to actually see the horses and riders. Um, we give much better coverage for you guys to do the live feed here. The horse at one. No, it's not. We have a crew or spectator or someone that's kind of possibly passed out here behind us. We've got some medical attention headed that way. That's what all the shouting was, maybe, that you just heard.